live from Convention Hall in Atlantic City, the 1970 Miss America pageant, celebrating Miss America's golden anniversary. Starring Miss America, Pamela Eldridge. Miss America 1966, Debbie Bryant. Miss America 1955, Lee Merriweather. Miss America 1959, Mary Ann Mobley. Miss America 1965, Bonda K. Van Dyke. The returning former Miss Cenities from the 50 states. Brought to you by Tony, makers of magic moments. Tonight you'll see a demonstration of how Magic Moment brings back your hair color at the push of a button. And by Kellogg's. Kellogg's puts more in your morning, more fun, flavor, nourishment. And by Frigidaire, makers of beautiful appliances for your home. And also starring Joe DeVito, Don Correa, Glenn Osser, the Miss America Orchestra and Corral. All proving that what it was and what it still is, beautiful. The combination of now and then is making this the golden anniversary of Miss 
America possible. And ladies and gentlemen, we are tying together the beautiful years of the ladies who wore the crown and the girl who will tonight wear the crown of Miss America of 1971. Now, let us visit with those Miss Americas of other days. Let's start with Miss America 1969, Judith Van Boy. Miss America 1967, James Giroux. Miss America 1966, Deborah Bryant. Miss America 1965, Bonda K. Van Dyke. Miss America 1964, Donna Axel. Miss America 1963, Jacqueline Mayer. Miss America 1959, Mary Ann Mobley. Miss America 1955, Leanne Merriweather. Miss America 1954, Evelyn A. Miss America 1953, Neva Jane Langley. Miss America 1949, Jackie Mercer. Miss America 1948, B.B. Shop. Miss America 1940, Francis Burke. Miss America 1939, Patricia Donnelly. Miss America 1938, Marilyn Meskey. Miss America 1933, Marion Bergeron. Miss America 1924, Ruth Malcolmson. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our reigning Miss America, Miss America 1970, Pamela Ann Eldred. She's our Miss America, the one we waited for. She's a miracle, a miracle. She's our Miss America, the one that we adore. Hot by this magic moment, she's positively glorious. in radiant beauty and carries the heart where she goes. Oh, look at her, look at her, how can you help but look at her with loveliness like this? You know she To 1970, my dear friends. Miss America of 1971 might be Miss Alabama. Miss Alaska. Miss Arizona. Miss Arkansas. Miss California. Miss 
Georgia. Miss Hawaii. Miss Idaho. Miss Illinois. Miss Indiana. Iowa. Miss Hansen. Miss Kentucky. Miss Louisiana. Miss Michigan Miss Minnesota Miss Mississippi Miss Missouri Miss Montana Nebraska, Miss Nevada, Miss New Hampshire, Miss New Jersey, Miss New Mexico.
all, each Miss America pageant is a very special event. Tonight is extra special. 1970 marks the 50th year of Miss America's existence, a milestone of which we are all very proud, not only because Miss America was and still is beautiful, but because you have thought enough to help us achieve this golden anniversary. Here with me, ladies and gentlemen, is Lee Merriweather, Miss America of 1955. Thank you, Debbie. It's a pleasure to be here. From time to time this evening, I'll be telling and showing you something of the Miss America pageant from our 50 golden years. But right now, we're concentrating on this year's beautiful girl. You're right. I met and talked with many of the girls as I spoke for the Tony Company at some of the state pageants. Did you know that each of these girls styles her own hair? It's true. And many of them use my favorite hairspray, Adorn in a new touch-top container. Watch. New, new way to spray. Touch-top. Only Adorn has it. Just a light touch, a new touch-top directs Adorn exactly where you need it. Here or there. For Adorn hold exactly where you need it. Hold it last and last and last. Try touch-top. The new way to spray, self-styling adorn. Your fingertips tell you something's new about your hair. A feeling of fullness as if you suddenly had more hair. Because now there's a texturizer in Tame Cream Rinse. Tame with texturizer. Tame gives hair a feeling of substance, a quality feel. Plus tangle-free combing, styleability, shine. A whole handful of reasons to try Tame Cream Rinse now with Texturizer. For the past three days and nights, these 50 lovely young ladies here on our stage have appeared before our judges in interviews and preliminary competitions. These competitions were in swimsuit, in talent, and in evening gown. And after each preliminary competition, the points each judge had awarded each girl were turned over to a staff of certified public accountants. We are now about to meet the 10 girls who earn the most points and who will continue to compete this evening for the title of Miss America 1971. Now let me call your attention to two important facts. First, the 10 girls are once again all equal as semifinalists, and only the points they earn tonight will determine who our five finalists will be. Secondly, the order in which I announce their names has no significance whatsoever. Here are our 10 semi-finalists. Lisa Louise Donovan, Miss Florida. Karen Johanna Johnson, Miss Maine. Phyllis George, Miss Texas. Mary Perham, Miss South Dakota. Catherine Jean Carlswood, Miss New York. Christine McClamrock, Miss Mississippi. Maggie Walker, Miss Pennsylvania. Claudia Turner, Miss South Carolina. Judy Adams, Miss Oklahoma. Donna Connolly, Miss Arkansas. These are the 10 young ladies who will start again, all even, to compete for the crown of Miss America 1971.
Ladies and gentlemen, your warm approval of our 10 semifinals, please. Tonight, on this 50th anniversary celebration, the winner, Miss America of 1971, a golden crown will be placed on her lovely hair. And now the task of selecting who that lovely, lucky young lady will be rests in the hands of nine distinguished ladies and gentlemen who comprise our panel of judges. And we'd like to introduce them to you now. First, humorous newspaper columnist for over 70 newspapers served by the United Features Syndicate. He is author of magazine articles. He's a professional lecturer, Mr. Norton Mockridge. Mockridge? International prima ballerina in American and European theaters, films, and television, Maria Gambarelli. Ms. Gambarelli. <laughs> the president of Stratford College in Danville, Virginia, Dr. W. Hugh Moomaw. Dr. Moomaw. <laughs> the president of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences and president of Telemedia Systems Incorporated, Mr. Robert Lewin. TV editor for Newspaper Enterprise Association, editor of NEA's TV Scout Service, Miss Joan Crosby. Miss Crosby. <laughs> Publisher of Q Magazine, creator of Q's Entertainer of the Year Award, Mr. Edward Lowe. Mr. Lowe. <laughs> Oscar and Grammy Award winning lyricist for Screen and Records, Mr. Hal David. Hal David. Executive Director of the Cleveland Job Corps for Women, and a lady who is prominent in theater and opera work, Dr. Zelma George. Dr. George. Here's a member of Hollywood's most famous makeup family in motion pictures and television. He's head of Universal City Studios makeup department, Mr. Bud Westmore. Westmore. That's our distinguished panel of judges, ladies and gentlemen. And now, at this time, it is our great pleasure for you to meet two very special guests of the pageant who are also very dear friends. The governor of the state of New Jersey, the Honorable William Cahill, and Mrs. Cahill, please. Thank you. In order to give you some perspective on Miss America's 50 golden years, I checked some news film from the 1920s. Now here's a newsreel of our 1926 pageant that I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing. In the beginning, Miss America was a bathing beauty contest only. And here's the formal crowning of the 1926 winner, vivacious Norma Smallwood. King Neptune in charge of the proceedings literally takes the crown, scepter, and robe from Faye Lampier, who is Miss America in 1925 and places them on the new queen. Now, there are some of the 1926 contestants. And if that third face right there looks familiar, well, her name is Joan Blondell. She was destined to become one of Hollywood's best-known stars. Don't you just love those hairstyles? <laughs> and the cut of the swimsuit. Oh, dear. Well, I'll be back a little later with more pictures from the past. In the meantime, what washes and dries at the same time and fits almost anywhere? What moves so easily you can clean behind it any time? But Jadair has the answer. Frigidaire Laundry Center fits almost anywhere. Now many Frigidaire refrigerators come on rollers. Just loosen the brakes, and the refrigerators are easy to move when you want to clean behind them. Frigidaire refrigerators on rollers, perfect for every house. Almost. 
Frigidaire makes beautiful appliances for your home. See your Frigidaire dealer about his special values. We've crowned them our Miss America special. You are the single rose I mean to keep in the album of my mind. Nostalgia will be warm and wonderful for me For you're taking this moment And making it mine For all time Hey girl, look this way girl Making memories for Miss America 1971 in evening gown. Lisa Louise Donovan, Miss Florida. Johnson, Miss May.
Maggie Walker, Miss Pennsylvania. South Carolina. Judy Adams, Miss Oklahoma. without a doubt, contributed more of herself to the well-being of this America than any other individual. This is Miss Lenora Smith. Welcome, Lenora. Thank you, Lee. Yes, it's been a long, long time. I first became associated with the Miss America pageant in 1935. Then, in 1941, I was named Executive Director, a position I held until I retired in 1967. 32 long and wonderful years. Yes. We all know, of course, that you were personally responsible for so many innovations here at the pageant, but I'd like to know, and I'm sure you would, what is your, the one that you're the most proud of? Only you must know. <laughs> there was a creation and execution of the Miss America Scholarship Foundation, which has provided over $6 million by Miss America girls to attend colleges and universities over this country. Miss Slaughter, it's been three years now since you retired. Which of your many pageant activities do you miss the most? Debbie, thinking it over, I, I would say the opportunity to address the contestants on their arrival day in Atlantic City, at which time I tried so very hard to establish in their minds an ideal and to try to build a dream, a golden memory that they would have to live with the rest of their lives. I think that's the most important part of my idea. I know that everyone here has been so delighted to see you back again. Thank you so much, Miss Slaughter. Choosing just one of these beautiful girls is a difficult task for the judges, but it's not difficult for you to choose a shampoo. Here's my favorite. If your cosmic composition implies the precondition that the stars be in conjunction in order for you to function, that ain't good. That ain't good. If Venus bumps Aquarius and combines with Sagittarius, your horoscope may say cool it, but don't be a dope, overrule it. As you should. As you should. For now's the time to do what you always knew you could do. Give try. There's a very 
notion if you want to be seen. Cause of the motion, ABC. Carry a bag and have a play. But don't just stand there, do a thing. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. You gotta make way. way. Don't hide your light under a bushel. My feet are not a day today. Thank you very much, Mary Ann Mobley, for those wonderful words of wisdom. Now, it's time for our semifinalists to make waves in talent. And here they are. First, demonstrating a positive attitude as she sings Feeling Good is Lisa Louise Donovan, who is Miss Florida, right here. On in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze dripping by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Feeling And now singing the aria, you said as waltz, from Puccini's opera, La Boheme, is Karen Johanna Johnson, who is Miss Maine.
Now, here's something of special interest to the whole family. This is America's favorite high-protein cereal, Kellogg's Special K. It also has eight essential vitamins. Special K gives your family 33% of the officially established minimum daily adult requirements of iron, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin C, A, and D, plus vitamins B6 and B12. Special K cereal is 99% fat-free, and it's delicious. Look for the big red K. The whole family will like it. From Hollywood, another star leaves his prints in cement. I imagine you feel pretty good, Tony. Good? I feel great! I want to thank Kellogg Sugar Frosted Flakes for making me a star with the whole family, and especially those boys in the frosting department. Any advice, Tony? Well, go with the tiger and be humble. Thanks, Tony. Ciao. <coughs> Bert Backrat and Hal David have written some of the best of today's music. And here to play one of their contemporary compositions is Phyllis George, Miss Texas. <laughs>
from Texas. And now to uh, sing a medley of very recent songs, our next talented contestant. Her name is Mary Harum. She is Miss South Dakota, right here. week here in Atlantic City is the parade on the famous boardwalk, which this year is celebrating its 100th anniversary. I'd like to show you some of the ways the boardwalk parade has grown and changed through the years. Back in the 20s, the contestants paraded in the literal sense, walking the entire length of the boardwalk. It seems, though, a few of them, well, probably the semifinalists, did get to ride in old-fashioned bicycle chairs. Miss America, of course, had her own float and brought up the rear of the parade. Now let's take a look at a modern Miss America boardwalk parade. Quite a difference, isn't it? Today there are dozens of huge bands, some numbering over 100 musicians. The parade floats are as beautiful as you'll find anywhere. And all 50 of the state representatives ride in the luxury of their own convertibles. Oh, I'm glad I got to ride in the parade I was in. It's a long boardwalk. Well, now, here are two more Frigidaire appliances for you to look at. One is that crazy skinny mini we saw a minute ago. I liked it so much, I asked to see it again.
Frigidaire made it for people who want more top freezer space than most other guys. Frigidaire makes beautiful appliances for your home. See your Frigidaire dealer about his special values. We've crowned them our Miss America special. Salzito composed the selection World Wind. And now, with her interpretation, is Catherine Jean Carlsrud, Miss New York. That, of course, was Miss New York. They say it's true that most of us can find inspiration in music. And expressing this idea is Christine McClamrock, Miss Mississippi. Advice is a gift that is given to help us get along. You'll find advice to help you, in a word, or perhaps a song. If you are down in the dumps and feeling blue, this advice could help pull you through. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. Life is a cabaret, oh charm. Only a cabaret. Growing older is a problem. So I've heard. If that's your problem, see this word. Try to remember the kind of September when life was slow and oh so mellow. Try to remember and if you remember, then Life sometimes brings us sorrows that must be dealt with, too. This advice has helped me often. I hope it has meaning for you. When you walk through a storm, keep your head up high. And don't be afraid of the dark.
developing their talent as they do their beauty. Now here's something with a talent for saving your hair. Every time you comb your hair, you snap a few, hair a few, good a few. But the proof is in your comb. Now save your hair from all this with Tame Cream Rinse, the one with texturizer. Tame improves hair texture, smooths even rough hair. You can comb without snagging, tearing, splitting, breaking off hair. Save your hair with Tame Cream Rinse with texturizer. There's a texturizing tame for fine and limp hair too. Before it's curved or shaped or rolled, it's just hair. It becomes something special with Advanced Look Tony. The time control permanent. Choose the look that's you, then choose the time that makes it happen. More time, more curl. Less time, curve, or mostly body. It's the art of perfect timing. Before you start, you know the end result. Advanced Look Tony. <coughs> Continue after station identification. back in Convention Hall in Atlantic City, and the selection of Miss America 1971 is now only minutes away. Let's join Bert Parks as he introduces the next talent presentation. And now providing us with a change of pace as she performs on the uneven parallel bars, this is Maggie Walker, Miss Pennsylvania. <laughs>
Remember Esther Williams and those flashy movies? Now I'm swimming just for me, sometimes with my daughter Susie, and trying to stay on the young side. With sensible exercise, sensible eating. For breakfast, we like Kellogg's Product 19, with all the minimum daily adult requirements for vitamins and iron. Don't forget, Mom, it's delicious. Want to get back on the young side? We'll start with delicious Kellogg's Product 19. 22 more seconds and it's you, Harry Wilson versus Morning. With Kellogg's Corn Flakes waiting to help, they're designed for morning. They're fast when you're slow. They're cool and inviting, easy on your eyes and your stomach. And Kellogg's Corn Flakes nourish you too, Harry. They've got iron, niacin, and thiamine to give you the important nourishment of whole grain corn. Come on, Harry. Let's you and us face morning together. And a young man reminded me today, and very rightly so, that we didn't pay tribute, and we do now. And we remove our hats to the fine work done by the special police right there. Thanks. Yes, I was paying tribute to the special police here in the convention hall. They've done a wonderful job. Now on with our talent section of the 1971 Miss America pageant. You know, memories are one of the themes of our show this year, and here to bring back some of her own golden memories is Claudia Turner, Miss South Carolina. Once upon a time, a boy with moonlight in his eyes put his hand in mine and said he loved me so, but that was once upon a time, very long ago. Once upon a hill, we sat beneath a willow tree. Miss America has always been a staunch supporter of the country whose name she bears. In 1943, right after the outbreak of World War II, the Miss America contestants of that year were so enthusiastic in their support of the war effort that the pageant received a special commendation from the War Finance Department in Washington. The tasks the girls took on were varied. Miss Ohio joined the Red Cross. Miss New York eagerly volunteered and became a member of the WAC. Miss Alabama's talents enabled her to perform the unique job of ferrying planes for the Army. 
but it was Miss America herself who stole the show. Uh, here's Jean Bartel being crowned in 1943. There she is. You can see how sophisticated the pageant has become in 20 years. It's moved indoors, and evening gown and talent competition have been added. Now, right after the pageant, Jean Bartel, Miss America then in 1943, went on a three-month tour of 53 cities and sold millions of dollars worth of war bonds. Our own Miss America 1970, Pam Eldred, just returned from a USO trip to South Vietnam. Well, now, what can hold a giant load of snowballs and glide about effortlessly at the same time? A Frigidaire refrigerator. Watch. Now many Frigidaire refrigerators come on rollers. Just loosen the brakes, and the refrigerators are easy to move when you want to clean behind them. Frigidaire refrigerators on rollers. Perfect for every house. Almost. Introducing the largest top freezer Frigidaire refrigerator ever made. for people who want more top freezer space than most other guys. Frigidaire makes beautiful appliances for your home. See your Frigidaire dealer about his special values. We've crowned them our Miss America special. Back to our talent presentation. We invite you now to listen to the violin virtuosity of Miss Judy Adams, Miss Oklahoma. Finally, we turn now to a medley of Who Will Buy and Love is a Many Splendid Thing to be sung by Donna Connolly, who is Miss Arkansas.
the kids think it's all a new scene. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, uh, Von de K. Van Dyke and Don Correa. When you say nothing's new, that couldn't be true here. When you see the lovely new fresh faces, personalities, and our ten semifinalists in swimsuit. First, Miss Florida. <laughs> Chicago. Tonight she's going to color her hair right here with Magic Moment, Tony's great phone in hair color. You nervous? Well, a little. I've been gray almost five years, but I've never tried to color my hair before. Why not? Well, frankly, I guess I was scared. I, it would just seem too difficult. Well, what changed your mind? Nothing has changed it yet. Well, Magic Moment will. I hope so. You go get started and we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. 
body is as clean as white, as pure as rain. White rain. Crystal clear white rain hairspray. It doesn't feel like hairspray. You spray on pure hold, clear hold, that dries clean. It doesn't feel like hairspray. Clean as white and pure as rain. White rain. Holds clean. Holds even in the rain. There's an unscented white rain, too. I looked at my reflection in the crystal pool of time. I looked at my reflection and I could see, looking back at me, a child. What have I learned? What did I see? What is the sum of all the somethings that make me? I guess to know, I'll have to go back to the child. To know the fullness of the summer glow.
developments that should be of interest to you. Watch. You know, Louise, you would have looked great in a bikini a couple of years ago. But not that you'd look bad now. Time to get back into things? Eat smart at every meal, starting with breakfast. Kellogg's Special K breakfast is less than 240 calories, 99% fat-free, loaded with protein, and delicious. Let the Special K breakfast help you get back into things. Hi, you beautiful. Where have you been all my life? Happily married. How are you in Magic Moment doing? Great, it's really fun. You just press the button. It looks easy. And the foam is so rich and thick. And it doesn't drip. Now you'll see in 15 minutes, all this nice white foam will turn into color and melt right into your hair. Really? Then you'll rinse and set. Sounds too easy. I told you, Magic Moment is the easiest way to cover gray. See you later. Okay. And now we come to the final stages of the naming of our new Miss America. We are about to learn which five girls have received the most points from the judges in this evening's competitions. May I have the five finalists, please? The five finalists are Karen Johanna Johnson, Miss Maine. <laughs> Christine McClamrock, Miss Mississippi. Walker, Miss Pennsylvania. <laughs> Claudia Turner, Miss South Carolina. <laughs> Phyllis George, Miss Texas. Miss America of 1971 will travel extensively. She will meet thousands of people throughout the world. She will be interviewed many times on a wide variety of subjects. And her responses to questions must be pertinent and quick. We will now interview each contestant briefly based on facts which the girls themselves gave us on their biographical sheets. This will allow our judges a final opportunity to know these beautiful ladies better. May I call, please, Miss Maine to the uh, microphone? Let's bring her up. Hi. Hi. I always like this the best part of the show for me. Well, I think we do, too. You having fun? I'm just having a ball. Now, for the biographical things we have found out about you, Karen, the Interlochen Music Camp in Michigan is a world-famous uh, place as the summer there that must be quite an experience. Were you there? Yes, it's a great deal of work and it's a great learning experience. I was rather young when I did attend Interlochen, but I think I did a great deal of growing up while I was there. Did you learn languages? I understand you learned some German. Well, as a singer, since I go to Oberlin Conservatory, we are required to take three or four languages and you have to know them fairly well. Do you speak German? Uh, ich weiß nicht. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. He's so nice. I guess that means it's over. May we have Miss Mississippi, please? Miss Mississippi. Hey, y'all, honey. Come on up. Say, so you seem to have a large rooting section here tonight. Tell us about them. Yes, I do. You can hear them already. Pardon? This is the Palmer Orphanage of Columbus, Mississippi. I was raised in this home for 13 years, and then I was adopted when I was 18. Isn't that, and you were, all these, uh, they raised some money to bring how many people here from your hometown of Mississippi? Close to 70 to 75. 
and they raised close to 15,000. And you never saw a cheering section like that in your life. Did you say you always, Mary Ann uh, Mobley, you know, is from Mississippi. Did you ever get to meet her? Yes, I did. All right, because I know she's here. We've had several, uh, several girls from Mississippi here, but I think that's the greatest cheering section in the world. We wish you all the best luck in the world. Miss Thank Mississippi, you. ladies and gentlemen. Miss Pennsylvania. You're a tall child. Yes, I am. How tall are you? I'm five feet, nine and a half inches. Something happened to my shoes. <laughs> are you five foot nine? Sure you are. <laughs> there we are. Tell us about this unusual hobby of yours, would you please? Yes, I collect shark teeth for my hobby. I do this at the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. Wait a minute, you collect shark's teeth? <laughs> yes, I do. Suppose the shark has bridge work or something. What are you doing in a case like that? All the teeth I collect have been petrified. They are at least 60,000 years old, and I only get them when they've been washed back onto the shore. I've stood and waited for shark's teeth for years, and I never saw one. I don't know what... I understand you've attended a Miss America pageant before. Can you tell us about that? Yes, I was here in a convention hall last year because Trudy Lee Peterson, Miss Pennsylvania of last year, was a classmate of mine, and I came to see her. Uh, oh, yes, of course, I remember very well. What's your hometown of Pennsylvania? Uh, my present hometown is Hershey. <laughs> she said, do you want me to say something else? Sure, go ahead. Uh, when I was crowned Miss Pennsylvania, I represented York County. There are a lot of York Countyans here. I wanted to put that in. Miss Pennsylvania, thank you, honey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Miss North of uh, South Carolina, please. Thank you. That's pretty. This is Claudia Turner. Come up, honey. You brought your ruling section too, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. Now, I understand that you have a famous great-great-great-grandfather. Tell me about him. Well, he was the sheriff who hung Tom Dooley. Now, this doesn't mean he's the man who found Tom Dooley. He's the sheriff that executed Tom Dooley. He executed the hanging of him. One of your relatives executed somebody? Well, he just officiated it. What did he do, open the trap and let him fall through? Is that what it was? I, I guess he sort of signed the declaration, you know. That sure, sure is nice to know you, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's that see was, some other, ma'am. I was going to say, that was seven generations ago. Well, I'm not worried. It's all right. <laughs> now, I understand you worked as a weather girl on television. Tell me about that. Oh, my goodness, it was quite funny. They asked, <laughs> they asked me if I would like to audition to do the weather, and I said I didn't know anything about weather. But uh, I got up there, and they said, well, tell us a little something. I said, well, it, it rains sometimes, and then the, in the wintertime, sometimes it snows. And they got a real kick out of that. But I think what they wanted was a little break from all the men on the show. They wanted a little bit of variety. And so they bared with me. <laughs> Miss South Carolina, thank you. Very much. Miss Jackson. She just gave a weather report I hear every day. I don't know anything unusual about that, believe me. Miss Tex, please step up. Hi. Hi. Oh, everybody brought their root Tex. Step up and tell us what part of Texas you're from, please. I'm from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I live in Denton, Texas, which is the top of the Golden Triangle. Now, in your biographical set, I understand you have a pet dog named Panda. Can you tell us about him? I understand he sings, is that true? <laughs> Yes, I have a peekapoo, which is part Pekingese and part poodle. Uh, so would you mind repeating that? <laughs> would you like for me to spell it? Yeah, no, uh, you just said peekapoo. Uh, peekapoo. <laughs> uh, my dog, it, well, my dog loves to listen to me play the piano. You know, it scratches to get in. But when I start singing songs like I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles or my sorority song, my dog just sings at the top of his lungs. And I wonder if it's my voice or the song. I don't know. I never auditioned a dog before in my life. I ran into. You also said in your biographical sketch that as a good luck charm, you have a live hermit crab. Now, I've never heard of that before. Well, neither had I, believe me, until I got it. One of my sorority sisters gave me a live hermit crab for good luck at the Miss Texas pageant because my zodiac sign is cancer, and crab is a symbol.
And it doesn't seem too unusual here in Atlantic City to have a live hermit crab, but when you think it came all the way from Texas, and I brought it on the plane and nobody sat by me on the plane, it makes you wonder. Thank you, Miss Texas. Marvelous. There you have our five finalists, Miss Texas, Miss Maine, Miss Mississippi, Miss Pennsylvania, Miss South Carolina, and in just a moment, we will have the judges. In just a few moments, we'll know the name of Miss America of 1971. I don't envy those five finalists just sitting, waiting. And I'll never forget the shock I went into when Bert finally called my name. I don't even remember walking the runway. You too? <laughs> my mind went completely blank for hours. Say, why don't we take a look at ourselves doing our Miss America walks? I found them. Oh, could we? Mm -hmm. If you can, I don't think anyone would mind. There you are. If you're anything like me, you will find that all of this is a complete surprise to you. It sure is. I look fairly normal there, but I certainly didn't feel that way. You threw a kiss to the audience. I did? Mm -hmm. There, there it is. <laughs> but I have no memory of it at all. Now that I remember. When I saw it in the paper the next day, I knew it was true. Now are we going to see your walk? It's coming right up. There I am, Miss Unconscious of 1955. <laughs> the first thing I, I really remember was after the pageant of the party, I kept wishing they'd just let me eat instead of taking my picture so much. <laughs> you got normal a lot quicker than I did. Ladies and gentlemen, for the past year, Pamela Eldred, Miss America of 1970, has endowed the crown with charm and grace and beauty. But tonight, this year, must come to its close. So let's have a warm farewell for a lovely, warm young lady. Miss America, Pamela Eldred, right here. Thank you. Tonight, we're going to crown Miss America of 1971, but that doesn't mean that I'm giving my crown up as Miss America, because my crown has meant just a little more to me than a tiara placed on my head. It has given me the opportunity to represent the youth of America for a year, to share the feeling of a smile with every person I've met. And with every person I've met, my crown has grown a little brighter. And since returning home from Vietnam, I've learned what America has here at home, what it means to be an American, and the true feeling behind the star-spangled banner. So you see, the memories that I have for my Miss America crown will always be a part of me. So... When I take that final walk down the runway, I'm not saying goodbye, but rather, thank you.
one Miss America and about to begin for another. The judge's decision is still a moment away, so let's take another look at our five finalists. They are Miss Texas, Miss South Carolina, Miss Pennsylvania, Miss Mississippi, and Miss Maine. You might be interested in knowing that the judges are actually just as much in the dark about the results as you and I and the girls are. Not knowing how the others have voted, they won't learn whom they've selected as Miss America until they hear it announced from the stage. And here's Burt Parks to make that announcement now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the decision we've been waiting for. Are the judges' decisions ready? Here we are, the fourth runner-up for the title of Miss America is Maggie Walker, Miss Pennsylvania. <laughs> the third runner-up is Chris McClamrock, Miss Mississippi. The second runner-up, Karen Johnson, Miss Maine. <laughs> now for the most important announcement. The names of the first runner-up and Miss America for 1971. Please remember this, if for any reason, the new Miss America should be unable to fulfill her duties. Her position will be taken by the first runner-up. She is the second most important person in this year's pageant. Ladies and gentlemen, the judge's decision. The first runner-up is Miss South Carolina, Miss America. The first runner-up was Miss South Carolina, Claudia Turner, the new Miss America for 1971. Now receiving her robes, Phyllis George, Miss Texas. When you're all ready, what, darling? Thank you. Thank you, you must. There are a lot of things to be put on, the crown, the robe, the scepter, and they're holding her up a little bit. But now, we ask you to walk down the runway and meet your subjects, Miss America, ladies and gentlemen.
Dr. Bridget their leader about his Miss America special. And by Kellogg's. Kellogg's puts more in your morning. More fun, flavor, nourishment. And by Tony, makers of exciting beauty products. Tony, a division of the Gillette Company. Your announcer is Wayne Howell.